everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and that you guys are doing well. I am back at you again with another DIY project. And this one is going to be turning a lamp into a centerpiece, a thrift store lamp to boot. So I got this lamp. This is awesome. I love this. I got this at a thrift store. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find more of these kind of lamps at thrift stores. This is a great way to do like a vintage style wedding where you don't want everything to be matchy matchy. And you can get like different types of lamps where they all kind of look similar and just put them together. Probably about 10 lamps. I think that's a project that I'm going to take on. And you can just go hunting at the thrift store and try to find lamps that are really really similar to each other I'm gonna to try to find like nine more lamps that look like this and you can put them all together and they will gel as long as the arrangement on the top is the same for all of them and they will all look amazing and it'll give you a great vintage um, look where everything again is not matchy matchy it just gives it a personal touch for every table so I'm going to start off with this lamp. I've been eyeing this lamp for a while. It's been sitting at the thrift store. They finally marked this lamp down to about two bucks. This lamp is awesome. And I'm going to show you just a really quick snippet of how I took it apart. But I will tell you what, um, what I did just real quickly. And then I'll show the video as a quick overview. Is you want to go ahead and cut off obviously the cord you want to cut the cord out of the lamp which is what I did you also want to take this bracket off if it has a bracket that is underneath the neck of the lamp you will need to take this part off and then remove the black bracket for the lampshade okay unless you want to keep it for some reason but I didn't so I removed the bracket um, you're also going to want to remove the little brown part that you use to um, turn the light on and off the on and off switch so you're going to want to remove this brown switch as well this is what that looks like hopefully I'm not too far away from the camera but that's what that looks like and um, so I basically just kind of sort of broke it off all right so that it was smooth okay so here is our thrift store lamp and what I've already done is taken the top off of this thing and I cut the wire. So the wire was underneath here. You can see right there where I cut it and I took the top off. I also took off this bracket and this is the bracket that holds your lampshade. So I took the lampshade holder off and the only way for me to take this off was to cut this wire. So this has been removed and this has been removed and now this is what we have now what I'm going to do is there is I'm going to take this to the side because there's a piece right here that has to be pushed in to keep the whole lamp together so this is going to be a little difficult Okay guys, so I pulled this wire out, I cut it, and I pulled it out. And what I did with this piece is I had to screw it back on because this keeps the whole lamp together. Because um, as you can see, see that right there, it keeps the whole entire lamp, lamp together because there's a piece that runs right through here. And then this is the top. So I needed to get rid of the switch that turns the light on and off. And it's a screw. So basically what I did was I took my wire cutters and I just kept going back and forth until I cut it and it broke off. And now you can't see it and we can cover all of this up with diamond wrap, okay, after we paint it because this is going to need some paint. So this looks pretty good. Um, there's only one piece right here that's hanging and I cut the wire here and we're just going to pull that out and it's gone, okay. And we are also going to cover this up with diamond wrap, so that's not going to show either. So here we have our lamp. It's ready to go. All the pieces have been removed off of it. It wasn't hard. Just took a little bit of elbow grease, which I did.
did off camera because sometimes it's just hard to record this stuff so that's it and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint this lamp and we're going to cover over the areas that made it look like a lamp with some diamond wrap because diamond wrap is great for stuff like that so what I'm going to do now is I am it's, it's in need of some paint because it's very rusted up so I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum 2X and um, this is a great project this is something where if you don't want to create a, a lamp a, create a centerpiece from scratch excuse me this is a great way to do something cheap and quick and also like I said it gives it a great vintage look so I'm going to be using 2x uh, metallic gold but first what I'm going to do is I don't want to mess up the glass part of this so I'm going to use paper bags and some masking tape or painters tape to cover over the glass section so that it doesn't get damaged and I'm going to do that right now all right guys so I'm back and this looks absolutely beautiful our paint job has been applied I use rust oleum 2x metallic gold this looks freaking amazing I love how it came out um, I missed a couple of spots so I'll just go back over it after this tutorial I just want to go ahead and keep pressing on so I'm really pleased with it I'm really satisfied with it it looks really really good you'll see it in the close-up in the intro and now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to use a piece of plumbing PVC pipe I will leave a link in the description bar below but you can find pieces like this in Lowe's or Home Depot and just go ahead and apply your paint treatment to it as well you can there have they have different types so use whatever you want I'm not going to get specific with this you can just go into the plumbing section and find one of these uh, these uh, connectors whatever they call them and I'm going to take it and sit it right on top of where we removed our of uh, the electrical part for the lamp okay so I'm going to put this right here uh, you want to hot glue it down I'm not going to hot glue mine down because um, I still need to apply a little bit more paint to this so well I guess I could hot glue it down so I think I will go ahead and hot glue this down so I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to apply my glue right inside of the connector and I think I got enough and then I'm just going to go ahead and get this right down on top of here. And that looks pretty good. It kind of makes the, um, it kind of makes our new vase come up just a little bit more, which is great. Okay, so while that's drying, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, satin gold ribbon. And I got this from the Dollar Tree, okay. And they've been keeping this in stock for the last couple of years, so you should be able to find this. So I got this gold um, satin ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply some of it right here to the neck portion right here so we can cover up where the light switch was. And I'm also going to apply it on the bottom so we can cover up that hole where they... Um, where the wire came out to plug in the lamp okay so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna do it off camera because it's so easy I don't need to show you guys how to do that like that's super easy so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this like I said right here to cover up the switch and to cover up the wire hole okay guys so this is looking pretty awesome I like the way this looks so far and as you can see I've at also added some diamond wrap to it so I added the Dollar Tree Gold Ribbon plus some diamond wrap. So I did it on the end right here in the middle and then of course at the top. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our foam on top of this so we can start uh, doing our floral arrangement. So what you're going to be using is a foam block and a foam disc. And I got both of these from the Dollar Tree and all you need to do is basically just hot glue it together and then you can hot glue it and mount it right on top of your lamp okay so that's what I'm going to do and that's going to provide the basis for our floral arrangement 
Now that we have our styrofoam on our um, centerpiece face, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these floral arrangements. So this is from Joanne. Excuse me. These are from a AC Moore. Okay. So these are gorgeous. And these are from Gather by Nicole from AC Moore. And these are really, really pretty. And I'm also going to be using these orange um, roses or coral roses. And these are from Walmart. Okay, so I'm going to be using those. Those are gorgeous. And I'm also going to be using this. So I think this is going to be a really, really nice look. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these apart so I can uh, put them onto our centerpiece. So this is what we have so far. Um, I have added the um, AC Moore bushes in here. I think these look great. And I also added the um, coral roses in here as well. I'll probably add a little bit more. But right now, um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get our filler in there. And our filler is our hydrangeas, our purple hydrangeas. Um, I was going to use red, but I can't find my red hydrangeas, so we're going to go with the purple instead. I got these um, at a deal for $2 each uh, at Michael's. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start working in my filler, which is the purple hydrangeas. Alright guys, so we are done. I have finished with the full arrangement. I think everything came out amazing. This is such an awesome idea. And it's so economical too. And like I said, I got the vase for 4 bucks. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to the floral arrangement. So you can, once again, I can tell you the flowers that I used. Okay, so I used hydrangeas from Michaels. Even though they don't look like purple hydrangeas, they are... I also used a Cabbage Rose Fall Bush from Gather by Nicole from AC Moore. It is gorgeous. Um, I used Coral Roses from Walmart. And I also used some Burgundy Peonies from Walmart. And those are right there. Okay. And then there was some greenery on the um, Fall Bush Gather by Nicole. There was some greenery on it. And I just worked a little bit. Of greenery in there just for texture okay so this is a really pretty arrangement that you can use for a fall wedding and um, I think this looks gorgeous just a lot of beautiful warm fall colors and uh, yes yeah, so I think this came out amazing so once again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe and also don't forget to share this video you can follow me on my social media platforms, which is Instagram, One Hip Sister, and Facebook, okay? So I will see you guys in the next DIY video. Take care. Bye-bye.